Okay, come back. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Oh, hey everyone, it's Ben from Evolve Sport Nutrition, otherwise known as Revan to the High Command Reborn Clan. Uh, today's video, we're gonna do something completely different, something really, really special. I'm gonna share with you my nutrition and health tips for how I'm gonna be taking down Savathun uh, and going for a long, long gaming session. So, let's go! That was stupid. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you've been hoarding bounties, enhancement prisms, ascendant shards, paraversal loot, anything you possibly can do to get ready for the Witch Queen and the day one raid race. Uh, but if you're also anything like me, you're starting to notice things in longer gaming sessions that you traditionally haven't noticed. Um, so for myself, I'm experiencing energy level fluctuations, trigger finger cramping, uh, soreness in my lower back from sitting all day. Luckily, I've worked on a whole bunch of those things and I'm going to share with you my IRL tips on how to prevent that and how to prep for hardcore gaming sessions. So, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start talking nutrition. So for hardcore gaming sessions and long gaming sessions, I'm always thinking about energy levels. And when I say energy levels, I'm meaning consistent, constant energy levels, not spikes in my energy levels. Keeping a consistent energy level has to do more with timing and meal distribution more than anything else. Be sure to try to evenly distribute your meals throughout the day. I personally aim for about three to four hours to eat a meal or a snack, but the point is to not disrupt your normal eating cycles. I like to think about this like buffs and debuffs, right? When I've eaten, I've got my protective light charge on. And when I'm hungry, someone just hit me with a suppression grenade in PvP and it sucks. Can't do anything, can't see clearly, can't focus clearly. Trigger fingers are cramping up. So think of it like a buff and a debuff. Buff yourself by eating when you're supposed to eat and when you normally eat and don't debuff yourself by going hungry longer than you need to. Now, timing can be extremely tricky, especially if weapon crafting is gonna be as good as I hope it's gonna be. So what I like to say to people all the time is set yourself up for success. Set alarm clocks or timers to remind yourself to eat um, so you don't end up grinding through a meal time or something like that. Set reminders in your calendars, use an alarm clock. Use an alarm clock that's far away from where you have to sit so you physically have to get up. I like to think about eating and not eating as buffs and debuffs. So when I've eaten, I've got my protective light buff on, I'm good. Um, when I haven't eaten, I just got hit by a suppression grenade in PvP, I can't see clearly, I can't react well. Don't let hunger nerf your gameplay. Time out your meals appropriately and set yourself up for success. Now this is a tricky topic because different people require different nutrition plans. Some of the things I like to consider for a full day of grinding is how much my physical activity gets changed by sitting all day. Now, I work from home, so my nutrition doesn't actually change too, too much, but if your job is very, very physical or you're running around all day and you're hardcore like me, blocked off your schedule, took vacation days off to grind and are planning to sit all day, you might want to keep this change in physical activity in mind and adjust accordingly. If you're worried about adjusting too much and being hungry, try slowing down your eating at meals, drink water with your meals, and if you need to eat a snack, just be sure to mute your mic first because I'm sorry for my clanmates that have had to hear me chewing or drinking. I do apologize in advance and in the past, but mute yourself first. Also, you might be thinking to yourself, how am I gonna grind and cook at the same time? Simple, don't. We're prepping up bounties, resources, so prep up your food. Think about meal prep or foods you've cooked the day before that can just reheat without greasing up the troops too much. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So there's 14 hours of downtime, cook up some meals beforehand so you can hit them up in the microwave and reheat them throughout your normal eating times. It also wouldn't be a nutrition video without me reminding everyone to eat their vegetables. So eat your vegetables. I'm really sorry for that. 
Okay, so let's talk about physical activity for a little bit. If you're anything like me, Savathun's wings have got you focusing on la oh God. Okay, seriously, if you're thinking about doing physical activity for the Witch Queen or something like that during a grinding session, there's actually many, many amazing ways to do it. Now, it's always better to get your physical activity done in the morning, but that might not work so well for our international clanmates. So when reset hits and Witch Queen launches, I'm actually planning to do a workout an hour or so before reset and as the game data finishes downloading. This way I won't be driving myself crazy waiting for reset and if I am in queue I'm also planning to put myself into a zen moment. I'm uh, not sorry for that. And doing some yoga if the servers are at capacity. So if you're unable to fit in a solid workout before reset, it's okay. It's worthwhile thinking of a couple of exercises and a couple of different things you can do while you're gaming. Now, when it's mindless grind time, I actually like to do things like set up my bike trainer in the back there so I can do a spin session while I'm grinding out loot or power levels or resources. And during other things like solo queuing trials, PVP or Gambit, I make a list of exercises that I like to go through as a circuit. And I, I try to hit 10 reps of those between sessions or try to go through one whole circuit between games. So a couple of exercises I like to go through are push-ups, shoulder presses, planks, deadlifts, squats, anything that works on areas of pain in my body, especially my lower back, where I can strengthen them up, stretch them out, get that mobility. I like to walk around a little bit too, uh, just to make sure the blood flow is going and that I'm not getting my energy levels too, too low and needing too much caffeine, especially later on in the night. In, in fact, sometimes some jumping jacks later on in the night is just as good to get my energy levels up, and my alertness back up, better than a cup of coffee is. So, I definitely, definitely would recommend considering a few exercises that you can do between game sessions um, during the Witch Queen. Now, always remember to pick exercise recommendations based on your physical limitations. Don't push yourself, you don't wanna hurt yourself there. And if you need to, consult the appropriate medical practitioners before beginning any massive health changes. But think of a few things that you can do during your gaming sessions to get your physical activity in and to keep your energy levels high. All right, it's time for my advanced. Oh, oh wait, they didn't get back to me. Okay, never mind. Let's talk about fluids. Now, of course, I'm gonna recommend water, but I would be a giant, giant hypocrite if I didn't talk about caffeine because I drink too much of this. Stuff. Caffeine is one of those things that, that can really, really either help you or make you too jittery and unable to land headshots. Now, know what your caffeine sensitivities are and tolerances are and don't push past them for the sake of grinding. Now, the research effects of caffeine is unclear on gamers. I specifically looked at research examining the effects of caffeine on first person shooters. Um, they didn't find any difference between caffeinated and uncaffeinated in regards to game performance. But come on, like, we're gamers. That's not the stat that I want to look at. I looked into the stats and research methodology and thought to myself, but how does this affect their PvP KD ratio? Because that's all we really care about, right? That's the data I care about. So, right now, I can't tell you research-wise whether or not it'll do anything. So, like I said, know your own tolerance, know your own limits, don't push past them. Okay, so I know I did a gamer supplement gag earlier, but let's talk about supplements for real. Um, supplements are exactly that, they're supplements. They're made to supplement an already existing nutrition plan. It shouldn't be your immediate nutrition source. So be sure to only take supplements that you need to help to adjust your micronutrient intake level or your armor stat distribution. A few supplements to take a special look at though could include vitamin D3, omega-3 fatty acids, and some joint health supplements. Let's talk vitamin D. Yes, vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin, but 
for those of us in Canada and for those of us that are gamers because we're inside all day, we really need to take a look at vitamin D supplementation, specifically vitamin D3 cholecalciferol because this is the activated form of vitamin D in our bodies. It's really, really important for our bone mineral density as well as a bunch of other things. So from a general health perspective, take a look at vitamin D and see if it can help you in your nutrition plan. Now, omega-3 fatty acids are an anti-inflammatory supplement. This can be a great way to help you deal with flare-ups coming from your lower back, your fingers, your joints, your trigger fingers, anything like that, anything that has to do with long-term sitting. Now, one of the things about omega-3 fatty acids and supplements in general, you wanna be sure to take them correctly. You don't wanna take them all at one time in the morning, which is what I see a lot of people do, or AKA, a burst DPS strategy. We are actually here going for sustained DPS. So take your doses of your supplements evenly throughout the day so that you can have better distribution of those anti-inflammatory pro uh, properties throughout the day. Finally, let's talk about joint pain supplements such as glucosamine. Glucosamine can be a great way of getting more button mashing in. Believe it or not, I actually made one of these recommendations to one of my clients and it really, really, really helped him. He's an older guy, he loved gaming, and his fingers were cramping up quite a bit. I suggested glucosamine and he's been gaming like he was 10 years younger or so. All right, let's wrap this thing up after making you sit through that janky PvP Iron Banner gameplay. And as I show off my day one raid build, um, or at least what I hope it for it to be. What are the most important things to remember for your Witch Queen health prep? Remember, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Remember to prep up some food during the 14 hour downtime. Remember to adjust your nutrition intake if sitting is gonna affect your physical activity levels. And remember to eat at your normal meal and snack times. There's tons of ways to be active and the best thing to do is fit in the workout before reset in the morning. But if you can't do that, then try a few exercises like push-ups, squats, deadlifts, or yoga between missions, playlist activities, and load times. Do this and your lower back will thank you. Drink lots of water and keep caffeine intake around the same as you normally would. You don't want to overload on caffeine and make yourself jittery, especially the night before the day one raid race. Remember, you only need supplements if you don't get enough of that vitamin or mineral in your nutrition plan. But some special supplements to pay attention to are vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, and glucosamine. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this is a totally different type of video and I hope to be making more stuff like this very, very soon to help everyone with their health goals in a new and unique way. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more real health content and hit the notification icon to see my day one raid race nutrition and workout plan and the finalized raid loadout. I will see you all in Savathun's throne world. Cheers.